Okay, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial here on the Neat Connect scanner. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, the, the way you set up Neat products has changed in the last couple years and uh, it's not so evident in their instructions. So it's very hard for people to figure out how to do this. And uh, I've uh, taken some time to figure it out. Uh, I have all the downloads that are going to be needed. They're all going to be in the description down below. I'm going to have links to the drivers, to the, uh, to the software that's needed to operate it, the scan utility, and then for the activation code for your trial um, NEAT account if you s decide to use that. So um, here we go. I'm going to start with uh, turning on the NEAT. So it's plugged in uh, with the power cord and in the back there's a little button and I'm just going to plug it and hold it and then a little light comes on and then the screen will start to turn on. While that's turning on I'm going to go set up my account, my NEAT um, trial account which I think I can do that here too but I'm going to set one up um, here just to be safe. So I'm going to go to the page uh, for activating my free trial um, with the card, the card that comes with your product. Um, this will get you a free trial. Uh, I think it's like six months, three months, six months. Uh, they say three, but all of my accounts have lasted six months at least. So um, you go to activate right here, activate.neat.com forward slash subscription. It's going to be in the comments below. Um, you can also just search these terms in Google. It will come up. And then fill this out. I've already done it and I have an account already, so I'm not gonna do it again. So go ahead and just fill this out. Put your pin here once you've put your name, your phone number, and then redeem the offer and it will open up your new um, trial account. I'm gonna go log in to mine. Okay, so I'm in uh, the needs review. Currently, there's nothing here. So I'm now going to go uh, set up my Neat Connect scanner. And now that I'm logged in, I don't necessarily have to log in. You also don't have to log in if you're not going to use the Neat Cloud. If you're just going to use this as a scanner on your computer, uh, that is fine. Uh, and you're not going to use the cloud, um, then you don't have to do the trial, you don't have to log in uh, and have any of this set up. So all you need to do is this next step. So here we are, we turned it on already. We're gonna go back and start. The first screen is this, welcome to Neat. Next, uh, agree to their terms. Now we're gonna log in find to your Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna find the my Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna put in the password. So it's connecting, I put in my password, I chose the right uh, internet, and now I'm connected to the internet. So now I'm gonna go to the next stage. New user, existing, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to sign in with my existing account, which is the one that I just logged in with. For you, if you signed up, it's gonna be that account. Put in your username, I'm gonna put in my email. Okay, I'm logging in here with my account that's logged in here. Now the prompt says next. Paper, it's telling you how to do paper. Stuff I don't care about, adjust the paper lines, blah, blah, blah. Let's try to scan. 
First extend the paper trays, whatever, there we go. Paper face up. Scan settings, choose your color, gray, one side, separate. And now I'm gonna scan next to the outbox or to neat. I'm gonna send it to neat. Send. Sending it. I'm gonna go check that in the, this is called the dashboard, I guess, not the dashboard, it's the outbox. It says it was sent. I'm gonna send it one more time just to make sure. It hasn't showed up yet, probably takes a minute to get through the internet. I'm gonna do it one more time, send. You don't have to do this part. Okay, so I just refreshed the page. Um, I refreshed. It took about a minute and a half, two minutes to get from the scan through the internet to here. So just remember, it's not sending it from here to here, it's sending it through my Wi-Fi to some server somewhere and then putting it on a cloud. So it's gonna take a minute. That took about two minutes. Uh, it might take longer for you depending where you are. It might take 10 minutes. Uh, it might take 15, it might take three or one. So just give that time, let it uh, update, and here they are, they're in the needs review. Whenever you put something or send it to the Neat Cloud, uh, it says needs review so that you can check it and make sure that uh, it's all marked properly. So this says it's coming from this. Enter the pin code, which is what it read off the card. So it's doing its best to tell you who it's from. Let's open it up. And here's going to be the picture of it. That's my card that I just scanned. And now you can fill this in because this isn't a receipt. If it was a receipt, it would have filled in some of this for you already. It would have put in the right uh, company name because um, it knows how to read the receipt. It would have put in phone numbers and stuff that it saw. On here it put in, let's see, it did not put in a phone number. Um, it has a number, I don't know what that is. So yeah, that's that. So it's here, the scan is here. Now, we're gonna see how to do it. It's the same one, I sent it twice, if you remember. I'm not gonna show you how to use the cloud, like how to navigate it. That's, you know, you can go watch another tutorial or figure out this, like when your needs review, and you review them, they go into uh, files and stuff, which again, I don't use this very much, so I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, you can use this to sort your things and learn how to use this if you so desire to use the neat cloud. Um, I don't, I just use it for this basic stuff to, to teach you how to do the neat cloud. I send directly from the scanner to my computer and then I keep things on files in the computer. So now we're gonna do the computer. We're gonna scan into the computer. So now you gotta make sure that you have your um, USB this does not send from the Neat Cloud wirelessly to a computer. It'll send to the Neat Cloud, but it will not send it from here to your computer. It, it needs to be connected through a wire to get to the computer directly. So even if you weren't connected to the internet, it will be able to get your files to the computer. So just remember that. This is wireless, but when you say wireless, that just means it's using the internet like a fax machine. But it's not, um, when you're using it as a, as a scanner for your computer, it needs to be connected. So I've got my USB connected here, and then it's in the back, the USB that comes with it. I'm going to make sure it's plugged in properly. Now it's in there. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to set my computer up. 
So now for your computer to be able to activate and work with the scanner, you need for it to work with the scanner, you need to have the drivers and the neat scan utility put on your computer. So let's get those drivers. It's in the, it's in the uh, description as well. Here's the uh, downloads. That's the scan utility. Here's the drivers. Or you could just search Google search neat drivers and it should come up. I'm going to click on this. It's in the description, like I said, top one, it's, it's called Drivers. And it takes you to this page. The top one's here, this list. This is for Windows. And you choose Neat Connect. And 64-bit, if that's what you're on with Windows, or 32. 32 is old school, so you're probably on 64 if your computer's, you know, fairly new in the last four years or so. Um, but that's up, you gotta figure that out. Um, I'm going to go down to Mac because I am a Mac user, which is down here. There's only one set of drivers. It's right here. It says uh, it's not marked very well that this is for Mac, but here it is. Yeah, download scanners for Mac, and there's just one. This, this driver right here, which is downloading now, this is for all neat products. And then same thing for Windows. When you click on that, it's going to download it. You're going to open it. This is, this is normal stuff for most everyone. Here's mine. I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to I'm going to install it. And you're going to install it on your Windows. I'm not going to do it right now because I already have it installed on my computer. So go ahead and install that. Make sure you have your drivers all set up. And now we're going to put the neat scan utility. You have to have this on the computer if you want the computer to be able to scan directly from the neat connect to the computer. You have to have this piece of software. This is not the old desktop software. That does not exist anymore. They do not make it anymore. Years ago, they moved to the cloud-based system. Um, so this is not what this is. This is a uh, basic um, utility piece of software. Download it and then run it, same thing. Here they are, scan utility, download this which I'm not going to do because I did it already, but let's see. Oh, it is downloading and it's telling you what to do. So Windows, Mac, mine's here. Again, same thing. Open it and run it. Install it. I'm not going to do it. I have it on my computer. So since it is on my computer, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go here, go find it in your applications. Once it's installed, scan you. Let's see, sorry. Neat, scan. I'm gonna open that up, and here's that software. So now, I'm gonna come back to the Neat uh, Connect, and I'm gonna choose Computer here. It should appear now. In the beginning, it doesn't appear. But once, once you've used it or gotten going here, which, then it appears. I don't know why that is. It wasn't there in the beginning before we sent that scan in NEAT. So you need to mess around in here for a few minutes, open the scan utility, um, then scroll and see. If you don't see it, try to send it to NEAT real quick or send it to the outbox so that this will appear. But when you first turn it on, that was not an option. We, If you remember, we only had outbox and we had NEAT. So it, it always appears later after I've done one or two things, and it's probably because I opened the scan utility, but again, I'm, I don't think that's it. So just remember, it might take a minute. You might be confused. It took me a minute to figure out where's computer? How come I can't scan to the computer? How come the neat uh, scan utility isn't seeing it? Um, so we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna, take my, I'm gonna take my paper, I'm gonna put it in here, my document, and now I have two choices. I can either go to the computer here and I can press scan or on the desktop this button right here will do the same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that I'll do it twice here's computer and scan I'm gonna do it a second time once it's done scanning there it is I'm gonna put it in again 
Let's uh, use the thing this time so that it stays straight. Maybe that'll stay straight. So now I'm gonna use the desktop and I'm press scan. Just make sure you choose it. I, I don't have to because it's on, but there's there's sometimes you have to choose neat connect and there's like other options or no options, but right now that's on. So I'm gonna press scan. There it goes from the desktop. It's gonna scan it again. This one's gonna be straighter. So now I'm gonna send this somewhere. I'm gonna either put it in up here, scan, next to scan is send. So here I got destinations. Mine are my computer or neat. Neat we already did wirelessly, but you can now do this again. If you're having trouble with the wireless aspect or you just wanna be scanning things here and put them in your computer, then send them to neat, this is an option. So now that it's here inside your scan utility, you can send it to neat. So what you'll do is you will sign in right here. I'm already signed in. This will say like sign in and log in and you'll put in your, uh, you'll put in your credentials, the ones that you set up earlier uh, in the beginning of this tutorial, the ones that you set up with your new trial account, you'll sign in with that. When that's the case, now you can send it there And then it looks like it's gone. So it's probably over there and we'll look at it in a minute. This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send to, and it disappears. If you notice, it disappeared. This one I'm gonna send to my desk, to my computer. So right now I have a folder. I'm gonna choose a folder. I have one called Neat Scans that I set up already. So when, when you pr press that, it allows you to choose where you're gonna put it. So on a Mac, this is how you do it. So I can put it in Documents and I can call Documents you know, whatever. But for me, I already created one in documents called neat scan. So then I'm going to open that. And now that's where it's going to send it. And I'm going to send this there. So now let's go take a look at the neat account and see if it sent it. Let's, uh, let's refresh. So I had to refresh for it to appear there, but here it is. This is the one we just sent again. Let's open it up. And there it is. That's the one we just sent from the neat scan utility. We sent it from here and now it's in the account. And now you can label it and do all that stuff. The other one is in that folder on my computer called neat scan. So that's everything. Um, that's how you use it to send to Neat or to put on your desktop. If you have any questions, um, you can, I'll put an email below and you can email me or you can leave a comment actually would be better on here and I will check it and I'll get back to you. If you're coming to me from a card that I sent to you, you can call me or you can email me because you have my contact information and I can help you through anything you're having trouble with. So thanks again for checking this out. I hope it goes well for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.